Hi guys, this is Prompt Engineer and in this video we are going to test out the new model known as Wizard Coder model by the Wizard LM and this is a new model Wizard Coder 15 billion parameters version 1.0 and as per this new model the figure shows that Wizard Coder attains the third position in the benchmark we're gonna have a look at the benchmark here we see that Wizard Coder stands on the third position after GPT-4 and GPT-3.5. Now among the open source model, it is on the top. It is, the scores is higher uh, than the Cloud Plus, Cloud Bard, Star Coder, Instruct Code Gen, Star Coder Plus, Gwen Echo 65 billion, and Falcon 40B Instruct. So if you remember, Falcon 40B Instruct parameter is the top model in the Open LLM leaderboard. It is the top model here. But still, in terms of code generation, for the purposes of code generation, it is still lagging far behind the wizard coder LM. Now, we're going to have a look at the model. We're going to have a run at the, uh, run the model using uh, the run pods. So this is a cloud GPU service. Uh, so you're going to use this run pod service. So I am going to go down to this, the block local LLM one click UI and API, and I'm going to click on deploy i am going to select uh ram let's select rtx a600 so this will be about i need to customize the deployment put it zero here we don't want any disk uh, and i want temporary uh this 40 bill 40 gb of that i will do 40 gb space will do so i click on set overrides this will be about 0.79 per hour so I click on continue here. No volume configured. All data will be lost on port restart. So GPU cost is about $0.79 per hour. So I think that is okay. I click on deploy. And this is being deployed. My pod is being built as we speak. It should be ready in a few minutes. So we click here. And then we are going to click on connect. And then start the web terminal and this is ready so we click on connect to http service so here we are going to go to the model here and we're going to go down and we are going to apply or load the models here so for applying the models we go to this page this is the gptq developed by uh, the bloke this is a wizard coder 15 billion so we just click here copy the name of the model and go back to the models here and download so the models are being downloaded okay so this is done next we're going to refresh this and then we're going to find the bloke model here so just load that model so it's loading up the model, the bloke model. Successfully loaded. Next to go to text generation here. And in the prompt, we are going to select the instruct alpaca. It's going to put in a question. For example, write a function that asks the name of the user and uh, then prints hello world here. So generate. Let's see the output here. Here is one way to write a Python code using input method. So Python define grid user, asks the username for user, and what is your name? Grid user. So we just copy this, and I go to my Visual Studio code. I created a new test Python, paste it here, save this, and run the test here. So we're going to run this code. What is your name? My name is Prompt Engineer. Hello, Prompt Engineer. So this works. So next, we are going to test something else let's test this write a function that checks if the given string or parenthesis is balanced so generate let's wait for the result to check whether or not a set of parentheses are properly matched we can use two stacks to keep track of opening and closing parentheses respectively as they appear in an input string we iterate through each character in the input string one by one pushing any opening braces into the stack until it becomes empty at any point there is no match for the current bracket so here's some code implementation then give me the code implementation press continue it should i think give some code 
implementation. Nope, uh, write a Python function that checks. Yeah, you can generate again. Let's start from the beginning. So we need to put in write a Python function. So it gives a good. It's writing a code. Let's wait for the code. This is, I think, a pretty fast um, implementation. This is pretty fast. I like this. So example usage, print check. Okay, so I'm just gonna control C uh, from here, from def till here, and we are going to paste it in our test. So this is k balance, let's go to zero. Okay. Okay, check balance. So print check balance of this. So we just control S and we just put expected string instance, no instance found. Check balance. Where is the mistake here? Line 17. So there is some mistake here. There is some problem here. So let's move on. Next, let us put a code, a write a Python function that counts the number of vowels in a given string. So write a Python function that counts the number of vowels in a given string. Let's wait for the result. Def count vowels convert uh, all characters to lowercase for simplicity and consistency. And it's checking for A, E, I, O, U. And it's printing. So let's copy this and put it in our code studio. And let me clear this, everything. Sorry. Clear everything up and let us run it this now. Okay, so there are three vowels in hello world. How many vowels in the word world? Let's run this. So there is one vowel. So this is good. This could solve this problem. Next, prime number checker. Write a Python function that checks. Okay. That checks in a given if a given number is prime. Click on generate. And this is generating. Define is prime and it's checking for any prime numbers. This code defines two functions, input parameters, and the second step is this. Example usage is given and just gonna wait for the code to complete. Okay, we have this HTML, so you can just copy this and go to our and just run this python test.py so number one is prime two prime three prime four not prime five prime six not prime seven prime eight nine ten eleven is prime 13 is prime 14 15 16 17 19 is prime till 20. so it, it gives a list of all the prime and the composite numbers so this is a success write a function that generates the fibonacci sequence after a given number n and we put in it here click on generate let's look at the html Output one way define Fibonacci n and less than zero returns this. That's pretty great. So example usage is done. It's very good because it gives you an example usage of the model. So again, we're going to go to Visual Code Studio, remove this, paste it here, uh, clear everything, and run this test. XM recursive exceed. Okay, this is too much. Ten by six. I can give let's say till ten and run this again. It's out of range. Uh, let's give this till five. Nope, this is not a success. Of course, I won't try to change the code or amend the code because this is we're just testing out the outputs. Now, palindrome checker, palindrome checker, write a function, write a Python function that checks if a given string is a palindrome, reads the same forward and backwards. So click on generate. This time, let's look at the raw itself. So we have this output. This is the palindrome. Define check palindrome. This works. Let us check. So we click this, copy this, and paste it here. Okay. So we say, 
object syndrome and we give a string so we can give a string string of s so we can give say for example height high which yeah height is bright height is bright so just gonna run this test height is not defined okay we need some parentheses it seems let's run this so we need to print mm, we return something return this is return true so we're gonna print this it will return us true or false this is false so what can be true for example la l l i l or b e double l o b e double l e b it should it's not i don't know if it's a word but let's try this so this is true so this actually works palindrome actually works so that's a pass but the next is write a function that takes in a string as input and returns the reverse of that string so we're going to write a python function here spelling mistake again so click on generate click on generate and let's see so this is the one in here reverse of string so for example print reverse string of let's say hello world and we run this we see hello world in the reverse order so this is a pass next we go to matrix transposition write a function that transposes a matrix write a python function that transposes a given matrix rows become columns and columns becomes rows so below is an instruction so this is okay this is a function let's copy this put it here and let's try to transpose this so we're gonna print transpose the matrix let's write a matrix for example um, let's say one two three and let's say four five six and seven eight nine this will be this okay so let's run this and invalid syntax Okay, do we need a comma here? I don't know. Let's see. We need something like this here. Nope. An example of an example of a matrix in code. In Python. Okay, this is an example of matrix. Okay, got it. Need to put it inside the brackets. Just gonna go back, put everything in the commas, and what you can need to do is I want one, two, three here. That's done. Then four, five, six here. That's done. And seven, eight, nine here. Now let's check it out. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. It works. One, four, seven. 258 and 369 that's a pass let's move on write a function to solve a given sudoku puzzle and its implementation you go back write a python function okay i'm sorry and give an implementation example click on generate So it gives an example usage as well. That's pretty great. Just wait for it. Wait for the code to complete. Okay. Copy the entire code here and go back to VS Code and just paste in the code. Okay, this is an invalid syntax. So just paste in the code here. And this is salt. Okay. Thanks a lot for tuning in. 
subscribe for more contents like this.